Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. So this is a bit of a, I'm going to say, an apology video. I did a video on this game um, a while ago now. Let me just find that reference. Um, when did I put this up? Well, I had the video comments up just now. Oh, in the second week of October in 2022, so that's about, what is that about? That's about nine months ago now. So I had a, I had a comment on this video though, recently, um, by a viewer called Just Exhumed, Just Exhumed, and uh, he says, I'm going to say it's a he, you use spacebar in capital letters to tag the position of a bomb. However, if you're incorrect and there is no bomb in that position, then it's game over. Now, I watched back my video and uh, I was <laughs> I was pretty harsh, I have to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> just exhumed. I'm sorry. That was not really called for. I don't know what what my problem was that day. I uh I was cringing uh, at how harsh I was being about it. So uh, I take most of that back and uh, I'm going to give it another go here. Now the reason I say just, I think just exhumed is a, is a he is because the author of this program is uh, John E. And uh, just exhumed, J.E. Now I did ask in a response to the comment whether... Um, he was the author of the program, but uh, he didn't respond. He might have been annoyed at me for for the video and finding the video kind of a rude shock, I, I would imagine. So I'll have to keep that in mind with my <laughs> if I'm feeling grumpy or saucy or saucily grumpy or anything like that. Now then, um, to the game. Uh, start to start creating mind matrix. Now I could, uh, I think I could accelerate that. All right, now is this, how is this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So space bar, now I'm not sure if that is a already located mine. Yeah, okay. So let's see if I can figure this out here. Oh, the bonus ticks down with time. So, uh, let's see here. One, 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 one. That, oh, but that's a mine. So if that's true, then we should be able to reveal that one. Right. And, whoops, that actually wasn't the space square I meant to reveal, but anyway. Okay, so that is... Now I'm going to criticize right off the bat here. It would actually be better if this cursor just moved from square game square to game square. But anyway, that's a minor. That is a minor criticism. As long as you're careful with the positioning of it, that's not actually going to be a problem. So a 1, 2, 2, 1 situation is going to be there. Oh. Oh, because there's already one. Okay, that's me just being a dough head. Dough head. Right, and the high scores were saved. So I had put in things like what, blow me, buh, and then Robert for zero. As as I I had de I had I had decreed that the space bar was a uh, basically a, a, a death key. <laughs> which is kind of how it seemed to me at the time, but that's not fair. Although, there was no, there's no, I didn't see, I never saw the game in its published form. I, I think it was maybe published in a magazine. So, um, I didn't, I wasn't working off of any instructions. So, let's see here, let's see if I can make less, fewer mistakes here. Okay, so this one has three. 
Okay, we can't say for sure that that's the one though. It could be one of those, either one of those two. Now that, however, it being having to be either one of these two means that this one has either one of those two. So we should be able to reveal these three. I'm not used to the the, the empty spaces not propagating. So again, we can't tell here whether it's there or there. So let's see here. With the four, we also can't tell. Uh, okay. Could be those two, it could be those two. Could even be the outside two. Oh, pardon me, I'm having some nerve pain spasms here, which made me debate whether I should even do this video or not. I'll try not to let it show too much. It is rather excruciating though when it comes. Um, let's see here. So the only other areas where we have clues, not quite sure what to make of these spaces. Does that mean there's zero bombs adjacent to that space? I guess so. In which case I should be able to reveal all of these, right? Okay, that's actually if that's true, that makes a big difference. And this one should be... Okay, there we go. Okay, that, that revelation. So that means this square should be a mine. And uh, when I hit space, it should reveal the mine. Okay! Woohoo! Now, we however can't solve... Well, no, we can't because if these are zeros, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treating these empty, these blanks as zeros really, really helps with this uh, deductive process. Okay. So we're sort of manually doing what the Windows version, whoops, did automatically, which was fill in all the zeros for you. I'm not sure if that's a if that would have been a difficult thing to implement in this version of the game or not i'm not i'm not going to weigh in on that one i really don't know you'd have to do sort of a recur a recursive check of all of the elements although if it you could do that i would think without too much trouble but what do i know the answer is not that much Okay, well, this is all right, as Minecraft games go. Now, Minecraft, good lord. Uh, mine, minefield games go, I guess. What the heck, oh, Minesweeper, Minesweeper games, I guess is the, the word I was looking for. Okay, all right, this is... Uh, Oh. oh, okay, so that diagonal one has to be, so that has to be a bomb, and that means this has to be a bomb, and that means this one can't be, and this one can't be. Well, thanks, thanks, just exhumed. Now that I understand what I'm doing, this is a much better game. Oh, I'm just deducing all over the place here. That one has three. Each of those have three in contact with it already. Five, yep. Two, yep. Four, no. So that means this one has to be. And because of the two to the bottom, to the bottom left, this one has to be, which makes this one not, not, not and that's empty so that one and that one and that one and that one and that little island of mines is fully exposed cool so am i going to be able to finish this in the in the time limit you got to actually proceed fairly quickly here don't you 
Why did that? Oh, because I got the wrong key. Uh, that one should be revealable. Then let's see, do we know enough to fill this in? Well, that has to be, and that has to be, and that one is not, but that one is, and that, that one now has, that one also has to be. Cool. I am, oh no, I meant to hit the button, not the space. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why, why did I get an H on the end of my name? That's odd. Not sure what that's about. It seems like it adds extra characters. Maybe a bug. Or, or not. I don't know. Maybe hitting enter isn't. I don't know. That doesn't. Anyway, that doesn't seem to make sense. That doesn't really matter. Um, okay, level to play. So it gets harder, obviously. Let's. Uh, oops. Let's try level. Well, let's. Oh, there's three levels. Okay, let's just go. Let's just jump straight to level three. See if I can uh, rein in my my vagrant hand here. Creating mind matrix. Okay, this is taking longer, so it's placing a lot more a lot more mines. Obviously, does that say seven? Wow, one, two, three, four. So that means that means <clears throat> oh my, that means all of these squares our mines. Okay. Now it says five, so that means all of these ones are mines. And that says two, which means none of these are mines. And uh, so you have to move the cursor out to see the number a lot of the time, which is a small thing. One, two, three, so that means that. Oh. Oh, I'm tempted to blame my pain for my unskilled play. Okay, I didn't get an extra character that time. I could swear I didn't type an H on the end of my own name, but maybe I did. All right, so um, try a little more here. Nothing wrong with this game at all. Now, oh my gosh, I might have to stop here pretty soon just from a discomfort perspective. Okay, six. So that means all three on this top row are. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm, the four is touching four already, so we should be able to reveal these. That one is two. That one's touching three. Okay, so I can't tell which there, but this one is not 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 three 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 okay I can't tell there here we've got four two of these three six okay that feels like so it's only touching one each one could have a maximum of eight eight right so I can see how you could get into a position where if you had an A mine, like a, a three by three grid of mines, you might not be able to get the final, the final thing without blowing yourself up. Let's take a look at this six here. So two, two, two are already numbers. So that means this one, this one, and this one, which makes this three uh, not a mine. And this six also has two numbers, which means all remaining squares have to be mines. That four has four already, so there. Five, one, two, three. Okay, we can't do that. Now, this three. Oh, we're gonna have to take a. We're gonna have to take a guess. Got into an un, untenable position here. Um, that three, it's already touching two, so there's a 50-50 chance there. Um, this. Five has three, so two out of four, also 
this 3 also 50-50. So what do I do here? What do I do? Do I just pick a random square and hope it's not a mine? Maybe that's what I do. 7. <laughs> All but 1. Too bad that didn't say 8. Well, that wouldn't have really helped me in the big picture either. Okay, no way for me to know which one, so that's a bad odds. Let's try this one. Nope. Okay, one more. One more, since I'm wanting to give this a good thorough play. This, the amount of mines in the game with on level 3 might just be too many uh, in order to have a real good chance of solving the thing. Yeah. It looks like the game just randomly s s picks a 3x3 three three area to, to light up, to reveal. Okay, so 1 out of 3. That's not terrible odds. Oh, wait a minute. What's 3, though, has... One out of five, but the four makes it less. So let's try down here. Two. Okay, so one of these ones and one of these five. All right. Two again. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That wasn't great. So I think, I think that that's actually just a little too challenging. Let's try the middle. Meaning, like, there's a lot of guesswork involved. That's what I mean by challenging. There's, you can't really, you're highly unlikely to be able to solve that puzzle by skill. So, level two, hopefully is somewhere in between. And uh, maybe I can get a little farther with this. Guesswork? Oh no, not quite. Five, that one has two, which means that one has to be. Uh, this two here is a one out of three. This is a one out of four. This is 50 50. Although it has to be one of these two, so that means this one, this one, and this one can't be. Okay, so logically speaking, that means I should be able to uh, expand out this void here. Do, 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 trying to be quick so that. Oh, that was a mistake. Wow, that was lucky. Okay, so here has a mine, and here does not. Uh, here has a mine, and here does not. So in trying to hurry, I am... Oh, there's two there already. I almost, I almost tagged that as a mine. So that one's not, and this one is not. So we've got six around that two already, so that means that one and that one are, which means this one is not. Three there, doot, doot, doot. And these ones mean that we can do that. Now, this five and the three, so this one has to be, and that one has to be. So only one of these two, that doesn't, okay, we can't glean that one. Here we've got two remaining, two remaining, three remaining. Okay, that doesn't tell us too much. One here, one here, one, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go up here. 
that has to be a mine, that has to be a mine, that has to be a mine, which means that one and that one. Uh, let's see here, this is a two, so that has to be one. Two, three. Okay, so it can't be this one. Hmm. And now we're in a guesswork situation again. Which is kind of the nature of the game, really. Um, okay, so one of these two and one of these two. But the odds aren't that high that it's going to be both of them. Oh! Pardon me. Oh, that was a bad one. Okay, there was something I observed. <clears throat> but it does have to be one of these two. Which means it can't be this one. <clears throat> it can't be both of these two. Does that tell us anything? Not really. Not really. It's going to be one of them, probably. No, it has to be one of them. Sorry, because of that one. That means one of these three. And, um... Odds are really good that it's one of those two, so let's try this one right here. There we go. So if that's only in touch with one, again, same statement. Oh, Lord. Okay, it has to be one of these two, which means that none of these ones are it. Which then gives us a void. So there is, a, you know, as long as you don't have, like, just so many mines in the in the uh, grid, there is room for logic in this game, which is why, presumably, people play it. If it was purely random, nobody would want to play the game. Deduction. You get quite a bit of information. Well, you get some information, I should say. Okay, two, which means that has to be one, right? Right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, no, that's right. And then the three is the three is fulfilled. Uh, what else have we got here? This one has to be. Okay, that be. Ooh, neither one of these is. Oh, that was. A lucky, lucky guess on my part. I guess I had pretty good odds, two thirds. Uh, so not that one, and not that one, which means that, that one is, and that one is, and that one is not. One, two, three on that four, which means that one. Uh, which now means this one here has to be. And not that one. All right, I think I'm mostly going to stop calling out my thought processes. I think I've done enough of that to uh, to establish that I have some and um, how they work in a game like this. That's a two, and that's a two, so it doesn't tell us anything. 
Oh, are we stuck again? I'm going to have to make another guess here, I think. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. Uh, there's a three there in the corner. One, two. It's in the corners there that uh, are the sort of the most obvious deductions to be made. Um, conclusions here. Well, what else? One of those two tells me bugger all. And one of those two. I don't have enough other information to go on, I'm afraid. It's got to be one of those two. One but not both of those two, and one but one of those two and one of those two, so... Yeah, can't tell for sure, that would be a guess. Two, one remaining, one remaining, one remaining. So this is one, 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 two. tells me that these are less likely to be binds, but not... Don't know that for sure. Yaw! Yeah. Well, I think if I'm going to guess, I'm going to try right here. Hmm. Okay, that was lucky, but not that lucky. Okay, still had to guess. All right, well, hey, look at that, I, I bumped the 26 John E. off of the table. Look at those scores, though, 1,700 and 1,800. Oh, the timer must get added, probably. If those are real scores, that's probably what happens. When you solve it, it probably adds the timer to your score. Very nice. Okay. Oh, wow. And here we are. <laughs> at half an hour, <laughs> almost. <laughs> well, these these brain games, you can't just whip through them, can you? You gotta think a bit. All right, so John E., I hope that's enough of an olive branch. Maybe you'll see this one day. Everyone else, hope you got some enjoyment out of that. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.